metal mods. Uh, I've been asked a lot of times about <coughs> the expansion chambers, the short expansion chambers that I build. Uh, I thought I'd uh, share this one with you. Um, it's, it's it's a design I've had in my head for a little bit, um, and it's going to be it's it's going on this. So it's going to be, as you can see, I've plugged this with a piece of wood. A little bit of an experiment to see how it runs with one port. <coughs> and that's the saw it's for. Uh, the one I've just rebuilt, uh, that used to be really, the one that used to move up to 18,500 RPM. Um, anyway, so I've got my welder out and everything at the moment. It's a little bit untidy and messy and what have you, but I thought you might like to see this. Where are you? There you go. Okay, so... I mean, we all know what an expansion chamber is, what they actually look like and what have you, and I know these aren't genuine expansion chambers I build. I build them short because um, I like to, I like them to be a usable saw. So, but I thought I'd just show you this idea that I had. So the first thing I do, get me muffler, um, work out where the uh, sonic cone needs to go, which is obviously over the port look over the exhaust port you can see in there there's two little pipes look okay I've closed these up the original ones and eventually I'm going to weld this back on you've got to, you've got to separate it like this to get at it all so I mean I plate it up at the back weld them up now my idea I built a, a cone, a solid cone, so my idea is to fit it into the front plate like that, so it's going to protrude through like that, okay so it's, a, it's, it's a real, it's a good active shape and size to use that is, I've used this type before. <coughs> Now the original one I built some years ago now really early on in my uh, in, in my videos the original one that I built was uh, I, I, I kept the standard exhaust with the two outlets on here you know these two outlets here that the Zodowas have and all I did to it originally was put a sonic cone inside I gutted it inside and then I just put a sonic cone in it like that okay and it held back the RPMs massively so on that one what I did I bought a hole through the middle of the um, sonic cone and I set a pipe 60 mil away from the exhaust okay so it's a through way to allow more gases through because it, it, it was good torque but it really held the revs back so the cone I knew the cone was working and they really do work right so I've been thinking and I've come up with another idea instead of boring the cone and putting a pipe through the middle I'm keeping it like that and in so, um, what I've also done I show you with the lens on. So I've made a, a way out through there, okay. And obviously the cone's going to be in there, but you can probably see, probably see inside there. Look, there's two pipes, okay. And there they are. Look, it's the two outlet pipes. So what I've done, I've put the two outlet pipes. 
so that they partially go over the um, exhaust port so that it, it clears it, 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 it creates a, a free flow area inside see see there so they're gonna sort of mask the uh, sonic wave on a portion of the actual exhaust port okay because if you don't do if you don't do that or do what I did on the other and stick one right up to it through the middle of the cone it'll just all it does is hold your rpms back so that's what I've done I just thought I'd share it with you so what I've done I, I ended up utilizing the two ports off this and I've welded them in because these posts you have they, they fall out basically so they are all welded in the back plates welded in to give it a secure support and this area is a good size a good area for outlet because it's away from more from the cone so the cone is going to basically be kind of like that you see okay so it so those two outlets create a freeway okay so in theory it's going to work like the other one but the difference is going to be i don't have to have a pipe through the middle of the cone so it should give a better a much more powerful wave because it's going to be a clear cone on its own and it's going to be pushing the sound wave down into the port but obviously not over the areas that I've masked with the two pipes so it will still give a clear way for gases to come out and then what I'm going to do I'm in the middle of making this so this is going to go over that hole like that okay and eventually it's going to be stepped down here until I come to a short I'm going to cut a piece of this off and eventually bring it out through a stinger so this is what I'm doing I thought you'd uh, like to see it so that's eventually covering that you see so that's where my pipes are inside there and then the sonic cone on the top well, from the inside and that's it so I just thought I'd show that <coughs> just a quick one from Lottie's Chainsaw Mods so thank you for watching <laughs> I'll get on now welding this box back together now I showed you so thank you again for watching and bye for now.